Uh, this is Michael Smith here, uh, coming to you from Renewed Mind, Flamingo and Decatur. The actual address is... 4170 South Decatur. 4170 South Decatur, uh, unit... A8. A8. That's A is an apple in the number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, coming to you this morning, talking about the upcoming workshop that we got going on um, Thursday evening. It's Sex and Marriage. It's a wellness workshop. Uh... There are so many, not just marriages, relationships in itself, that are under attack. And uh, we need to know the, the dynamics of, of, a, of a marriage, the, the dynamics of the different relationships we have, and uh, how sex fits into it, because it does. Uh, I was having a, a conversation with one of my colleagues, and, you know, they was talking about the infidelity of men. And, and how to deal with it. Uh, so, they, you know, they were saying that they, they may have friends that are dealing with it by going out and uh, being infidels themselves, or in the old way we used to call it, cheat. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I, meant, and I mentioned that then they're not being women, they're being men, because men do it just out of their nature, because men are hunters. Since since the beginning, men did the hunting and the protecting of, of, of the tribe, the family, and and women took care of the house. They took care of, of, of the home. Uh, men were always out foraging for food, uh, either by hunting or by farming. Um, so it is in man's nature to be a hunter. They go after prey. The, the, the excitement with most men is just comes from the chase. You know, once once you've captured something, then you no longer have interest in it. And that applies to women also on, on certain levels. We must understand one thing. When I, when I say that, I'm not saying that all men are like that, but that is their nature. Some, a, a lot of men have matured. And, and so they've grown out of that stage of life where they have to uh, uh, accomplish, you know, overcome something or, or uh, be a hunter, if you will. They, they, they have uh, gained mastery over the physical inclinations that come to them. So we're dealing with, you know, a lot of things here, but the, the basic nature of man is that he's a hunter, first, first and foremost. And we have to understand that. Uh, some men don't see it as wrong for them to have other women. Some cultures don't see it as wrong for one man to have other women. You know, this this goes back to biblical times. You, you know, when when men had three and four wives and concubines. Uh, it's all through the Bible. Uh, so there's nothing new. The concept of a man. Being with more than one woman is nothing new, uh, but each time, each in each circumstance, when the woman did it, you know, back in biblical times, the woman could be stoned to death, mm -hmm. uh, or her life could be taken. She she'd be labeled as a a harlot. You know that's why I say a woman can't do the same things a man does and still remain a woman. A man can't do the same things a woman do and still remain a man. You know, we, we all have a position. We all have a place, right? But but with uh, with training, with maturity, you know, we can transcend transcend the the, the physical uh, urges that one may have, the, the emotional urges that one may have, and and incorporate the best of all that we can be. But I I think it's important that all women understand that, that men are just natural hunters. Predators. Kim, yeah. do, do you like have anything you like to add to that? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to add because I'm not on camera. Uh, yeah, with my colleague Kim I, Warner. I want to add that um, I I remember you talking about men being hunters by nature, which brought us into um, a uh, conversation. It clicked with me because you know with women's lib, we got a lot of confusion going on, and I don't. Um, advocate for men to dominate women, but I do believe that women 
have taken the same place, as you said, as infidels and engaged in, you know, extramarital affairs. But on the side of where wellness and sexuality uh, meets, there's a sense of a need to talk to people about um, the secrecies that you hold on sexual relations and how it inhibits you. It's not to say that you go out and you're with um, tribes of people, but what we, you know, what my thoughts are on it is definitely if we could get an understanding of sexuality, then it can combat some of the insecurities, uh, the uh, secrets um, concerning men and women going out of relationships um, and the drama that it brings in. Because, you know, we have uh, had sexuality in a box and I asked my son, why is it in a box when you have children? I know you have sex because you have children. Exactly. And he's like saying, mom, please. And it's like, no, let's get our people out of a place where they're afraid to talk about sexual relationships because it's natural yes. again. And maybe part of the natural issues that we have in relationships have more to do with the secrecy or not bearing all or trusting to be transparent in a relationship when you're having sex. Now, you know, for Christians that listen, we're not advocating for anything but health because when you talk about sexual wellness, people become freer and they're able to protect themselves more. There's no more secrets. There's so much to um, experience here. This here workshop is not one time. It's going to go on. But why is it a secret that you have sex? And and then freedom has to come here. For for a relationship to be successful, there must be openness. There must be trust. You, you, there must be right. honesty. So in, in, in a marriage, we're supposed to talk about everything. Right. The the one place that you you must be comfortable is in the bedroom. If you're not comfortable in the bedroom, how is that relationship going to ever progress? Right. There are things that men and women need to talk about. A man needs to talk to the woman about what his needs are and what he wants. Mm -hmm. A woman needs to talk to that man about her needs and what she wants. Right. And I think that that begins before you even get married. So we have communication issues yes. because a lot of people just jump into bed to begin with and they don't know each other. They don't even know if. They're the right fit for each other, you yeah, know, in yeah. the sexual aspect. So when I say things like that, people get, oh, my God, you know, but I want to be able to laugh and talk about it, but get to a place where we understand so we can educate our children better because reasons that we might be inhibited or um, held back in the areas of sexuality could be what we were taught from our families. I know that it was a secret yes. and you could not tell from my family, but that's something that's been going on for generations. So in wellness, mentally, you got to break cycles in order to create a, a different kind of outcome for your relationship. You know, uh, due to our religion, uh, there are so many taboos, right? You know, and and we need to break down those barriers, break down those ta taboos. Uh, there is nothing taboo between a, a, a man and his wife, right? There should be nothing taboo in, in that relationship. We it should be one of openness where either party can talk about different things. There's no such thing as uh, uh, we're not supposed to do this in our sexual relationship, right. man. That happens, yeah. Variety is what keeps the interest. Yeah, because you got to be a strange woman. That's why if you don't go out and find, or no, if you if, if your husband or your wife, if strange man or strange woman, if it's not satisfied, there is not always saying that he is just a bad person or she is. It's simply the agreement between you all has not fit the purpose of their needs. So yes. we got to look at that. It's communication in that relationship. And so I don't want people to think it's just about marriage because this stuff starts before you get married. You didn't know that, you know, he liked a variety of women, but he married you. So he might be yeah. somebody that feels like a king. Right. And that's cool if he does. But his harem is behind him. And I'm just saying people swing. We all in this world have different ideas of sex. So before we get married, we need to start understanding dynamics. And know what we're headed for because you want to ask your husband or your wife, 
you know, what do you really like about sex? That's the number one thing. And money, sex, money, and power. MC Light sung it. Mm -hmm. That's the key. And she said it's the keys to life. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. I agree with her, but then there's a balance there because there's more to life, you know. And I want to just move on. I know we're going to come back on and video some more, but I wanted them to talk about some of the things that we would bring up and, you know, let everybody know this ain't no stoic kind of thing. This is a place where we're coming to have a good time. There are pe people like yourself, professionals to answer questions. You're not just a professional therapist myself. We don't just work in behavior. We work our lives through the behavior and understand dynamics from our own situations to help people thrive better. And, and realize that th through everything that we talk about, everything we discuss, everything we teach, there is a spiritual background yeah. to all of it. Yeah. You know, because I believe that's where everything starts. Yeah. You know, uh, everything starts at in, in, in a spiritual level. Nature. And, and yeah. tomorrow we will discuss uh, sex and how it fits in in a spiritual nature, how, it, how, how they both come together. We, because that's don't, necessary. Don't, 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 I hope nobody laughs at this. But some of my most spiritual moments have, have come in the act of sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, All right. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm cutting it off because we have to go to work and Michael will be sitting up here looking at himself videoing Don't for a long that. time. And I'm not on tomorrow. I will be on. I'm doing some work while we are um, talking. But we're at um, 4170 South Decatur. The event is from 4 to 6 Thursday, the 18th. Be at, here. Yes. 2019. Be here. It's from 4 to 6. You can RSVP. The phone number is 702-331-4484. And so we'll be here. We'll have refreshments as well. And, and, it, um, and the site we're having is also the African Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of my native Africans out there, you owe it to yourself to come to this. Yeah, let's get some things in order in sex is about freedom and it's not something that we should be ashamed of. That's me. I, you know, not running around naked or anything in the nudist camp, but just saying, yeah, embrace your beauty, embrace the love that you have within yourself. And that's what sex takes us to. Okay. And All right. Embrace it as you age. Yes. All right.